All right, guys, so welcome back to West Georgia Aquatics. I'm Daniel, and we're back at it again with the fish tank follow up. As far as the fish, everybody seems to be pretty healthy. No casualties over the break. 75 gallons, got some new neurite snails eating away at the algae. Hopefully, I'll get rid of most of it. Over the Thanksgiving break, we got a lot done. We finally finished the 80 gallon tank and we uh, built the stand to go with it. It's just a basic two by four construction. It's got an open space underneath for a 40 gallon breeder. I'm debating whether to use it as a plant grow out or build a sump for it. So if I'm being honest guys, I probably don't see myself resealing a tank anytime in my future. It takes a lot of time to reseal these tanks. The only reason I did it is because these kind of tanks aren't easy to find anymore. As you can see, the 80 gallon has an open top. There's no center brace. It has a quarter inch glass. It's a real heavy duty tank, you guys. So if you can find one of these old tanks, try to hang on to them. And that's probably the only reason I went through the trouble of resealing it. The only other tank I would possibly think about resealing is this 55 gallon. It too has an open top, quarter inch glass, heavy duty construction. I'm going to build a stand for it as well. So hopefully I can get that one on footage. It was just taking way too much time building the stand, trying to film and balance the Thanksgiving holiday all in one thing. So I'm going to leave a link below in the description if you're interested in knowing how to build these kind of stands. I'll send you in the right direction. But right now, this is just an update. So if you want to see what else is going on, future skates, me setting up the 80 gallon, that'll be happening pretty soon. Make sure you hit the notification button, subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.